My dear fifth grade children, how are you, mom? Are you fine? Be stay in your home, so be happy. I hope that you are doing very well. Okay, mom. Have you had breakfast in the morning? Okay, fine. Let us start to study social science online class. Okay. Today we will start a new lesson. That's unit twelve. This title of this lesson: India's non-material heritage. In the previous class, we have learnt India's material heritage. Can you remember it, ma? We have learnt in the previous lesson India's material heritage. Now we will see that lesson India's non-material heritage. Okay, ma. So in the previous class we have learnt the this material heritage is of six main categories with numerous examples in each category we have learnt. So today we will see that non-material heritage. That is what, ma. India's material. India's heritage, that is India's properties made up of material that monuments are still serve you. But today's lesson, India's heritage made by non-material. What's that? Non-material means non-material heritage of India that included oral traditions. This non-material heritage also can divide it into mainly six categories. That is first one, oral tradition that includes stories, songs, etc. Stories, songs. And second, performing arts. Performing arts that include included. Drama, music and dance. Then people skills. That is weaving, metalwork, etc. Science means that is medicine, mathematics, etc. And traditions that includes clothes, food, etc. Then last philosophy. Philosophy means the way of thinking. What is philosophy? Philosophy means the way of thinking. Okay, ma. So, now see that India's heritage means India's property that is made by non-material. What is non-material? That's also we see that now. That is telling story and songs, drama, music. Weaving, metal works, medicine, and clothes, food. These are the heritage of India made by non-material. Can you understand? Here, not at all use that any material. So it is India's non-material heritages. That is, it included storytelling, stories, good stories, and songs, drama, music, art like that okay okay ma do you like telling story yeah that is okay fine here one story is given that is that old people this people used telling stories from this story, they find out the values of the life. Okay? So, India's non-material heritage means, so, you must understand that. So, India's wealth is made by Non-material. India's property is made by non-material. Here not at all use any material. Used by 
what ma that is non material heritage means that is they used their way of life by telling stories and uh, music song dance okay so from this lesson we will see that one story also first of all do you like to telling a story ma yeah first of all now listen here here one story is given so every day you are studying to social means uh, what do you think do you like to study social or little bore so anyway today i will say the story okay ma so now listen here so in your this lesson india's heritage means india's properties made by non material non material means that is not at all use any material okay here only used by stories songs poems and music dance arts in this way okay so first of all we see that one story okay that is this are the example of one story Mm. many centuries ago people used like that stories to teach lessons in good behavior so from this story they give the values of life that is from this stories teach the lessons in good behavior such stories are so in the past events history means past events so so many centuries ago people used these stories and still told no words are still told stories see this these are the example of non material heritage so non material heritage means india's wealth is in india's properties included this non material heritage not only this material heritage in india's properties included this non material heritage also that is important story this important story hearing this story we find out we understood the good behavior okay so shall i say one story for you do you like so i am telling right here one story is given first of all i say this story here what story means this is old story only a hunter set a trap on evening here one forest one hunter he set a trap on evening what's that hunter do you know ma who is the hunter hatch the animal spot hunter he always hatch the animals for food mainly for food so one day evening a hunter set a trap trap means an instrument a piece of equipment that used for hatching animal okay do you understand a hunter set a trap for trap means a piece of e equipment for what is to catch the animals he saw an antelope antelope means what ma it is like a deer do you do you like to deer deer ah uh, it's a uh, uh, very long legs and long horns like a deer okay so he tried to catch the antelope now the situation antelope is very trapped in it what's the meaning that trapped in it trapped means it is antelope condition is very difficult to escape from the hunter okay this antelope trapped in in it so it to try to escape two of its friends 
a tortoise and a woodpecker decided to save it. Now listen here. A hunter, one evening, he tried to catch the animal. At that time, he saw an antelope. He tried to catch it. Now, this antelope is very difficult to escape from the hunter. Now, he see that this tortoise and woodpecker saw that. They decided to, this antelope, woodpecker and tortoise, both of them friends. So, this uh, and uh, this antelope condition see that so these other two friends who are they that is tortoise aunt next one woodpecker decided to save the antelope so what they did this woodpecker pecked the hunter each time woodpecker pecked the hunter pecked means it bite the hunters so this hunter left out of his house and he what condition he lured the antelope because this woodpecker all the times bite the hunter suddenly what happened this now this antelope was freed so this woodpecker and the antelope escaped Okay, this woodpecker bites the hunter. So this, what happened? This antelope now he escaped from the hunter. This antelope and woodpecker were able to escape. But what happened? The slow tortoise could not run very fast, isn't it? So the now the hunter was very angry because the antelope had escaped this uh, antelope has escaped so he decided to eat the tortoise instead okay so this antelope escaped so anyway instead of antelope he eat the he tried to eat the tortoise this antelope thought a plan what plan it ran in front of the hunter. Now this antelope thought a plan. He ran in front of the hunter. Now this hunter dropped the tortoise. His idea to eat the tortoise, that idea he dropped out. And he started to chase the antelope. Again he started to chase the antelope. This antelope ran to a dark cave. Cave. Cave, do you know? It is very dark inside. The hunter followed. But he got confused in the darkness. The antelope ran out and joined his friends. They were all were happy that they had got the better of the hunter. So, these are the very so many stories. Such stories are still told. These are the example of our non-material heritage. So from this story, what do you understand? The true friendship and help the friendship in very difficult situation. Okay. So now listen here. Now you understood this story. I think it. Now listen here ma. Very important point what here means. This India's non-material heritage means. So India's heritage is made by non-materials by telling stories, drama, music, art. So this story is a. This is say. Jatak story. Jatak story many centuries ago. This Buddhism use these stories to teach lesson in good behavior mostly you this story tells us more moral values okay such stories are still told these are the example of india's non-material heritage can you understand 
then we see that oral tradition oral tradition these are non material heritage heritages oral tradition means what ma what is tradition spell that way t r e d i t i o n tradition means what that is part of culture that is passed from person to person or generation to generation okay okay this oral tradition <coughs> tradition means that is a culture that is different from person to person or generation to generation for example in tamil nadu we have we have particular traditions our food our cloth our language everything but in other people assam uh, for example in kerala also is different from tamil nadu in each tradition their dresses their language food it habits so these are the cultures now we see that ma this oral tradition oral means one in india knowledge and learning was passed on orally very ancient period ancient period means do you know some of the many centuries ago ago means many centuries before before the many centuries what happened only for in this how to they get the people get the knowledge means this knowledge and learning was passed on orally oral means you know not for writing oral exam means what's that only for telling only for say that answer not for writing that people don't know how to write most of the people in ancient period most of the people don't know writing reading also so they used through telling storytelling orally okay very few people know how to read and write so teachers storytellers and the proper feats very important as they passed on knowledge and learning okay so most of the people they don't know how to write very 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 less number of people only knew how to read and write so teachers and storytellers and puppeteers were important why they were important they passed on knowledge and learning by orally they passed on knowledge and learning by orally several things were passed on this way okay ma at that time the people don't know how to write how to read very few people only know so they were very important for the teachers to knowledge and learning okay the skills of crafts people medical knowledge religious ideas and customs as well as stories about heroes and gods so mostly the stories the heroes are gods the main important characters given to god the oral tradition skill exists this is some heritage that has come to us because of the oral tradition so oral study tradition still still how now listen here okay do you understand ma oral tradition do you know yes the four vedas in hindus hindu religious books the very important four vedas that is rikyajur sama adravana four vedas and two epics that is ramayana and mahabharata were passed on orally for centuries that passed on epic means what ma that is a long poem about the doings of 
great people a long poem about the doings of great people okay so this four vedas and the two epics ramayana and mahabharata were passed on orally for all the peoples many centuries ago these very important hindu religious books and the epics were passed on orally for centuries these two epics continue to be retold through song stories and plays now listen here that two epics are continue to be retold again again these stories and epics and this hindu very important for vedas retold it be told through songs and stories and plays okay the stories like jataka tells of the jataka tells or the panjatantra stories these are very earliest very uh, centuries ago these are very famous stories okay skills of grafts people such as how to carve a statue of a god or a goddess or how to weave a carpet that is a craft peoples they don't know how to read or write but they have that skills of grafts such as they know how to carve a statue of god this how to carve a statue of god or goddess or how to weave a carpet so these are the example of india's non material heritage can you understand ma so india's material heritage means india's heritage made by material okay but now we study that this lesson we will see that we have learnt india's heritage made by non material that is first of all we see that the oral tradition okay that is telling story and songs etc okay then the performing arts this performing arts means that is dance drama and music have a very old history in india about 2000 years ago bharata wrote the natish nati shastra okay 2000 years ago this bharata wrote the natya shastra natya shastra means what natya means the art of acting that is a dance dancing and shastra means what are the some important rules to follow that dance so 2000 years ago this they wrote that natya shastra that is the rule of the dance which deals with all aspects of drama dance music etc not only for the dance only which deals with all aspects of drama and dance and all that what are the content included in drama dance music that's the rules everything that not here shastra that book included it has influenced the performing of arts in india up and today today also we will follow now also we follow that rules in for our dance drama music everything i will see that so 2000 years ago they wrote that natya shastra that is rules acting and dancing 
and which deals with all aspects in drama dance music etc it has influence still now we follow that rules now see that this is the india's non material heritage india's wealth is included this non material heritage it followed centuries centuries ago 2000 years ago they wrote natya shastra natya shastra means that is rules the art of acting and dancing which deals with all aspects of drama dance music etc it has influenced the performance of arts in india of still today so understood okay ma very fine now see that then what about dance the naughty shastra laid down the rules for classical dance this naughty shastra and it included in all aspects of drama dance music and it gives the rules for classical dance folk dance okay in ancient dance india classical dance was used for worship at temples in ancient period the people mainly this classical dance was used for worship in temples though nowadays it is seen in public ancient period the people used this classical dance for worship in temples but now oh, okay now also worship in temples though nowadays it is seen in public also okay as most dances were for worship they had religious themes mainly this uh, ancient period people used this classical dance used for mainly worship the temples this dance used to for in worship worship means what ma pray to god they had religious themes this classical dance have some religious themes also only kadak which developed few centuries ago in royal courts kadak not kadakli kadakli dance is a famous for kerala bharatanatyam dance is famous for tamil nadu that like that kadak which developed a few centuries ago in royal courts has both religious and non religious themes the kadak have developed religious and non religious themes but at the same time this classical earlier period ancient period this classical dance mainly developed for the worship of god related have some themes religious themes okay ma then next class we will see that remaining okay fine okay see the next class okay fine ma